Alright guys, welcome back to Zero Place. I almost said Super Mario RPG, but that's not what we're playing. Wow, I haven't I have been done that game for a while. Um, uh, Pokemon Soul Silver. Um, and we are on part 70. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. What I really can't believe is we beat Lance last time, and we didn't go through the credits. So now we're going to do that now and start post-game. So, phew. You have become truly powerful, Ling. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Oh no, it's all over! Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow... Ah, Ling, it's been a long time. It's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokémon made this happen. Your Pokémon were outstanding, too. Because they believed in you as a trainer, they per persevered. Congratulations, Ling. Let's interview the brand new champion. This is getting a bit to be a bit no too noisy. Ling, could you come with me? Oh wait, I, we haven't done the interview! Aw, uh, yeah. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we commemorate the League Champions for all eternity. The courageous Pokémon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new League Champion. A trainer who feels compassion for and trust towards all Pokémon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new League Champion who has all the makings of greatness. Ling, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. Alright, here we go. Jigawatt. Level 50. Sky Shark. Level 50. Met at World Islands. Trans Fafi, level 45, met at Route 29. Blaze Blue, level 47, met at New Bark Town. Suck and Blow, level 46, met at Route 31. Dragon Shit. Level 49, met at Goldenrod City. Bam. Oh, she's with them, that's cute. But she's covering fucking Lugia's face. <laughs> and Lugia's covering fucking <laughs> Typhlosion's face. It's like, uh, um, wrong, excuse me. And then Typhlosion's like, <laughs> you're fucking blocking my face, shit. That's funny. So it's 47 minutes of game time to get to this part. But I guarantee you it's been longer than that. Alright. So now, I believe, yeah, we get to see the credits for the game. Alright. So... I love how it shows the credits, but this we're only done the main game. There's still a post game, and that's basically we're only halfway through. So while I should be like, oh man, this was a great game, and talk about all that stuff I normally talk about during the credit sequences of games, I can't really because we're only halfway through the game. In actuality. Pfft, the fuck? The fuck, dude? I love these little borders they got. Falconer and Bugsy. I wonder what they're doing behind that bush. <laughs> then we got Whitney.
and uh, Morty and uh, I forget that dude's name. What do we got. Mm, can't remember his name. Can't remember her name. I think I remember the gym leader's names a little better, with this being my favorite name in the franchise. There's Lance and fucking those guys. Team Rocket. They're for chasing after him. <laughs> and the Elite Four. Will, Koga, Bruno, Karen. And of course, one of his fucking Dragonites. Is that Mom? go. The end of the main game. Now, alright, so, so let's go back into it, and, uh, alright, so we're back here in New Bark Town in our house, and email from Ethan. Read Ethan's message. Venture, excited! I love Pokemon! <laughs> oh, Ethan. Alright, so... Let's see. What's Mom got to say? Hi, Link! Professor Elm told me that he has something to give you. Alright, well... Let's go see what the fuck Professor Elm wants. And let's just switch up my team here. Dragon shit is gonna be front and center. Because it's six levels away from leveling up. So let's go in here. And talk to Professor Elm. Ling! There you are! I called because I have something for you. See? It's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. Yes! SS ticket. Alright. The ticket will let you take the fast ship that departs from Olivine City. But you knew that already. And after all, you ventured all over with your Pokemon. Give my regards to Professor Oak and Kanto. Or Kanto, whatever you, however you want to pronounce it. Alright, so that means we're on our way to, well, eventually to Viridian City, but not quite yet. So let's just go ahead and fly to, uh, where's all of mine? Arctic, there's all of <clears throat> I burped. That's all of mine. All right, now we can get on the SSN. All right, so let's see. Hello, you, you're, you're starting to have the attitude of a champion, Ling. It's time for your Pokedex to match who you are. Let me see your Pokedex for a second. I'll upgrade your Pokedex with the national mode. Nice. It won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex, however, I'm sure making an honest attempt on our behalf. Oh, time flies. I have a radio show to record at Gold Broad Tower. You must be heading for Kanto. If you come near Pallet Town, do drop by my Pokemon Research Lab. Alright. What do these guys want? This is Aqua. Uses jets to travel. It skims over the water. So, oh, sorry, this is the SS Aqua. What does this, this girl want? You mean to cancel already? I hear many rare Pokemon live there. Sounds exciting. I'd love to visit. What's over this way? I managed to come back safely from this journey and take my first steps into Olivine City. Will you live there with me? Please, I beg you. 
He's only a crewman of the pleasure cruise. He has a way of exaggerating things. Alright, well... Can't go in there yet. Welcome to, to Fast Ship SS Aqua. May I see your SS ticket? Bling flash the SS ticket. Okay, you have a ticket. We're going to... We're departing soon. Get on board quickly. Alright. Alright, we're about to leave Johto behind to go to Kanto. Okay, you must be the last passenger. <clears throat> Alright. And this is the SS Aqua. <clears throat> Just like the SS Anne in um, Red and Blue, we do have some trainers to fight. Oh, excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Will do, sir. Alright, so left for treasure, right for veteran. I'd say left for treasure. Oh, shit. A double battle already right at the gate. Hey, kid. Wanna battle me? We still got the Johto music because we're still technically not over the border yet. <laughs> Wow, I this is like the worst possible matchup we could have. Um send a blaze blue. Fucker use avalanche, come on. It's not very effective. I'll give you a flamethrower, motherfucker. Mm -mm -mm. I've honestly been waiting for this part because I wanted to get into Kanto so bad. One, because I've wanted to get f to the halfway point of this game, and two, I've wanted to just view Kanto again. You're strong! Alright, so... Who needs training on my team here? Fafi seems to be the most, so I'm gonna put... Plus, Fafi has a move that can hit multiple Pokémon, so I'm gonna do that. All right, let's fight the twins. You think I'm a baby? That's not fair. I'm not a baby. That's not a nice thing to say. All right, Megan Peg. Oh wow! What looks like a bad Pokemon choice. And I'll just Dragon Rush Teddy Ursa, and then I'm gonna use Surf. It'll hit Dragon Shit, but it won't matter, because Dragon Shit's resistant to water. Oh. Well, I didn't know I'd kill it in one hit. Alright, Fafi, Surf. Well, that kind of sucks. My Pokemon will get hit, but it barely did anything. It's going to be super effective to Fanfi. What? Didn't kill it? Use Aqua Tail. And he used Strength. He used Endure. You can only endure for one hit, though, right? Like, you can't endure both of them, right? Okay. We'll see what happens here. Oh, it can endure both of them? Well, that's fucking fair. There we go, Fafi just cut it. I was gonna say, that would have been a waste of a... of an Aqua... Jet or whatever the ability is. Oh, we lost! Alright. Well, that takes care of that. Now, are there any items in here? Doesn't look like it. Well... We'll go exploring for items next time on Zero Place Pokemon Soul Silver. See you then.